Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We discovered dinosaur butt. This is a subject the world wasn't ready for. I'm not so sure it ever will be. With great power comes great responsibility. And to quote the great Dr. Steve Buscemi, do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created here on earth? I think the answer is yes. Now we need you all to behave while we attempt to discuss the non-avian dinosaur posterior. <laughs> In a new study, Jacob Vinther and other paleobiologists at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom described the first ever preserved dinosaur butthole, known as a cloacal vent. As they, <laughs> as they describe it, it's a multi-purpose hole used for urinating, defecating, breeding, and egg laying. It is the whole of life. Incredible efficiency if I do say so myself. The specimen in question is Acidicosaurus, a small Cretaceous relative of Ceratopsians like Triceratops. You can kind of see it when you look hard enough. This find is particularly interesting because, while it bears similarities to those of today's birds and crocodiles, this dinosaur's cloacal vent is unique. Let's, um, let's take a closer look. Based on this image, we can see that scientists have identified the left and right lateral lips, the dorsal lobe, and the ischial callosity. Scientists believe the darkly pigmented lobes, labeled as lips in this picture, acted as scent glands. When the birds and the bees happened, these glands would secrete a pungent substance. Another interesting thing to note is that the animal is so well preserved that we can see that Psittacosaurus is countershaded, meaning it had a dark reddish brown color for most of its body and a lighter underside. However, the cloacal vent found on the animal's underside is a very dark color, showing high levels of pigmentation. Scientists theorize that these high levels of pigmentation may have acted as a mating display, like how baboons have big red butts. It may have also served as microbial protection, similar to how humans have additional pigmentation down there. Last thing to note, this cloacal vent seems to indicate that dinosaurs, or at least the Psittacosaurus, reproduce by copulation rather than the cloacal kiss method of birds today, where birds simply bump their rear ends together. Interesting. In all seriousness, I think this is a super cool find because I can add Psittacosaurus to my list of spectacularly preserved dinosaurs that inform us exactly what the animals looked like. Look at this lad. In addition to the very detailed butt, he has scale impressions, a reddish brown coat with countercolor, visible keratinous cheek horns, tightened folds of skin extending from the rear legs, and a row of quills on the middle and end of his tail. He looked like this. I'd say they'd make good pets, except that they would probably spray their smelly scent glands everywhere and poke you with their quills. Thank you all for making it through this video. It's hard to make a serious video about this, and the news outlets already ruined it for me. I'm not complaining. Now mainstream media gets to learn about dinosaur butts. I look forward to more amazing discoveries that bring dinosaurs closer to reality. As always, thank you for watching, remember to keep an open mind, join my discord, and I'll see you next time.